and welcome back to my channel. So recently I was able to attend the masterclass in Toronto by Mario, known as Makeup by Mario on Instagram, who is a celebrity makeup artist. He's very famous and I'm sure you know about him. So I was able to fly to Toronto to attend his masterclass and I'm so happy about it. So in today's video we will be talking about my experience, what I liked, what I didn't, and also I'll be talking about what I learned from the masterclass, as well as I will answer some of the questions that I received a lot lately. So I will be showing everything that I got in a gift bag that we received from the masterclass in my next video, because this video is already too long and I got so many makeup products that I didn't want it to make even so longer. So stay tuned for upcoming videos that I will share everything that we got in our gift bag. So at 12 o'clock the class began and Mario came out to say hi and everybody just got so excited and so happy to finally see him. So he got a model that actually was a local model from Toronto and he told that he always getting a local model which we liked a lot and then he asked us what makeup looks to do so I kind of like that as well because he was looking what we want to see rather than just come up with something that was already prepared. And then we find out that actually he usually started working with the face, creating a look. So he kind of have an idea what he wants this look to go, but he also changes is a lot on its way when he created a look. So that was my first note that I made that you should always see what will suit for the model as well as for the client. Whenever you're making a makeup look as well as you should always find out what the person prefers and also what is your kind of like statement because you're a makeup artist so you also have your own way how you want makeup to look. So at Masterclass we are given this notebook as well as a pen. And I was trying to write down as many notes as possible and I also asked Maria to sign my notebook. And you can see his signature right here, so I'm very happy to have it as a good memory of the masterclass. So I came there to learn, that's why I was making as much notes as possible. And I was also trying to draw a little picture just as a note for myself where the eyeshadows were applied or where a highlighter went and also where the contour was applied. So I was trying to write down everything because we are not allowed to do any photos or videos during the class or you will be asked to leave and I wouldn't risk all my trip down to Toronto just to be asked to leave. So I didn't make any video or photo during the class. So I wrote down a lot of makeup tips, tricks and techniques that Mario used whenever he was applying makeup to a model and the class itself lasted for the complete makeup application for around like four hours and class itself was five because we had a 30 minute break for lunch where we were provided with the light snacks and also refreshments and also then after the master class it was a photo shoot where we were able to make a photo with Mario. So even though I wrote a lot of techniques and tips and tricks I will not be talking about them in this video because first of all Mario did ask us not to do that because just to respect him as a makeup artist as well as not to spoil experience for all his future students and I do respect and understand that so I will not be doing that and also I will never be able to talk about everything that I learned because it was so long and he shared so many makeup tips and tricks as well as whatever I said will never be the same how Mario said and I think that if you're interested to learn from Mario, I highly recommend you to just splurge up, save a little bit of money and go to his masterclass. I do believe that it is amazing experience. I highly recommend to attend his masterclasses and I think you need to see by yourself and also to hear by yourself and just to make your own notes and learn. 
So now let's talk about what I like about the masterclass that I attended. So first of all, the whole experience at all was just amazing. And also Mario is just incredible makeup artist. The whole class was so long, but he was able to make it very entertaining. So we were allowed to ask Mario questions and we did ask a lot so he answered every single question and also he was sometimes making some jokes so it was very enjoyable experience and also I liked that you was able to see the whole makeup application in a full detail and I also like that he was showing a lot of makeup techniques and also his tips and tricks that he learned for 18 years of experience of doing makeup and he does celebrity makeup as well as makeup for some royalty people all around the world so he has tons of amazing opportunities and he does makeup on different people you can see his Instagram full of amazing makeup looks and I'm so happy that we were able to see how he does it in every single detail and I also was happy to find out that even though he is a celebrity makeup artist he still stayed down to earth and so humble and I enjoy just him as a person so much. I also like that during this masterclass I learned a lot of new things for myself and after I came back home and I started doing makeup my makeup application completely changed changed and I finally was able to create a flawless makeup look and I don't have any creasing, I have a makeup that lasts for hours and this is what Mario is famous for, is for flawless beautiful makeup looks with a makeup application that lasts for hours. So I did enjoy this the masterclass and I definitely looking forward and I hope to attend another the masterclass by Mario in the future, maybe in a year or so, just to learn even more because it was incredible experience and I would love just to go back. I already missing it, the whole atmosphere, this amazing gorgeous people all around you and Mario itself and learning something new and amazing. It was just one of a kind experience so I highly recommend you to attend the master class and to learn from the master. So now let's talk about what I didn't like about the masterclass and it was just my experience and what I think can be approved for the future masterclass and it was more related about the organization itself. So at the end where we're about to do a photo shoot with Mario, we're told that there will be the balcony seated people making the photos first and then VAPs and then all general public. So we're told that VAP needs to have to the right and also all the general seated public will need to head to the left and then everybody went to the left side and made a huge line when when then we were told that we can go straight to the right and then over there where you were heading towards the door you could see that nobody could really understand how the line is going so everybody was going left and then right so it was a mix of VAPs and also general public making photo together so I think that portion kind of was not really organized and I think what can be approved is just if one row will be asked to leave at the time. It was a first come first serve basis so I think we came so many hours earlier so it will be nice if VAP will be served first and then if every single row and after it will be asked to leave and to go to a photo shoot. It will be more organized and also everybody will feel like if you come early so you can able to do the photo earlier because some people they do fly from another cities and also from another countries to attend this masterclass and I had a flight to catch up later. So now let's talk about photo shoot itself as well. So we had email coming up earlier before the masterclass saying that we could not make photos and we can't make videos and everything about but not that we had actually to bring a camera or to use our own phone and that we will be allowed only to have a one shot with Mario. So I came from another city and I did bring my camera with me because I wanted to make a photos of Toronto otherwise I think I will just be ended up with my phone and also 
what if it will just be without any charge? I don't have any hotel there, so it can be possibly, so at the end, I could end up without any photo with Mario at all. So I think it will be nice in, if in that email will be also provided details that we need to bring our own camera or our phone because the photo will be made with our own phone or camera and also that we will be given only one shoot so there will be no more than one photo with Mario. So it was a huge line, it was a total mess out there and everybody was kind of worried and not knowing where to go and who's going up and next and then you give your back to one person and as a grabbing your camera, you're standing with a Mario, you're so excited and you're so like happy to finally that you made it over there you're not even ready to make that photo and then the photo is taken and that's it you had to leave so i think it will not hurt to make more than one photo it's not that i will change my position or something but if you're making a photo just make sure that the person looks fine because that was included in a ticket in a package itself Sometimes tickets doesn't have that opportunity where you have a photo with Mario and I personally thought that photo will be taken actually by a photographer and I don't know how many photos would be taken but at least one good photo will be emailed to you and I think that will be more amazing if they could do that. But Anyway, even though the photo was making with our own cameras and our iPhones, I know a lot of people that were in the line were debating if they should do just a selfie with Mario because they couldn't just trust to spoil that photo. And actually, whenever I gave my camera to a girl, she was not able to make a photo, so I was standing there trying to have a good pose and smile, and she was not able to make it. So she gave me camera back and said that I have to, like, adjusted or something because she couldn't make that photo so I looked up everything was perfect I showed her how to make it with a camera and even Mario was saying that you need kind of to half click the button and then click it again in order to make a photo and then kind of whenever I was standing there she made it whenever I was not ready to make my photo so I don't really like it that much I think uh, it can be way better photo just a good memory it's not that I came there to do that photo with Mario, but still it was one of the things that were included with the ticket. So I think it will be so amazing if they could do it with a photographer or if we were given more than just one photo just to make sure that the photo that is made is a good looking. So it will take just a couple more seconds to have couple more photos or if at least you will be told something like smile or at least something so then you're aware that the photo is taken right now. So that's something that I didn't really like and I think can be improved in the future as well. And then after that we are headed and we're given our certificate. So now I have this certificate that I attended and completed the masterclass by Maria. And also after that we got a huge bag full of makeup and I was so happy to have it. I didn't even expect it that the bag will be so huge and so heavy. So after that, I just changed and went straight to airport to my flight because I knew I had to look through all this makeup and make sure that I can do a check-in at the airport security and nothing will be over 100 milligrams. So this is another thing that I didn't like that some of the products were over 100 milligrams and even though I'm sure for those who was in Toronto who didn't have to fly anywhere who can just drive or just come back home it was amazing to get a big product but I would prefer if they would have something like in a, again that email that we got before masterclass saying that if you have to flood you can pick up let's say a travel friendly less version of these specific products whenever you can exchange as you're bigger to that smaller so you will have opportunity to try every single product because two of the products I had to leave at airport security because they were over 100 milligrams and I didn't have any bags that I could check in, so I have everything carry on. So I had to leave those products, so I will have to repurchase them in order to try them because I do want to try every single product that was included into this gift bag. 
So now let's talk about what I learned at the masterclass from Maria and I think some of the things are just priceless and this experience was truly amazing. So first of all, I learned that every client and everybody is different and you need to find out what works for the client, so ask what client likes and also has your own vision what will be working for this client. And also you need to treat every single client with respect, they're your boss and this is the attitude that you should have. Listen, treat them with respect and never share what you see behind the scenes kind of situation whenever you're in their houses and see them with their families. And I think this is the thing that you need to remember and respect whenever you have any clients and you're working as a makeup artist or even you can apply it to any really job. Another thing that I learned is that you always need to continue learning. So hustle hard and try different looks, step up your techniques, don't do the same makeup look every single time, try different things, try something different. If you do smoky eye, try to do some everyday natural look and opposite. So don't afraid to try and just do different things because like even if you're good at something, you need to kind of like bump up your skills and learn something new. Another thing that I noticed during the masterclass by Myra is that he was always continuously judging his work. So he would apply something, then step back, look up, look straight, looks on both sides and kind of make up his own judgment and then go back and change something, some little details. Felt that he need to add a little bit of her shadows, he would do that and also go back to brows and then step up and do some other little details. And this is what I liked a lot because I felt way more connected and also a lot of techniques that we saw there was completely completely different than what you would see on YouTube or Instagram because there is such things as Instagram makeup and he was mostly going for more like feminine, natural kind of like makeup application where he would try to blend every single line in order not to make it so straight, kind of like if you would see on a cut crease. So he was going for blending out all the lines and making more like smooth and beautiful, kind of like cohesive, beautiful makeup look. So I really like that a lot. I felt more connected. I learned a lot and I'm so excited to change my makeup application and do it the way I learned from the Mario in his masterclass. So you definitely will see that in my all upcoming tutorials because my makeup application technique just completely changed. Another thing that I learned from the masterclass by Mario is that a lot of people were asking him throughout the class trying to find out what is his favorite makeup brand, what is his favorite lipstick or lip gloss, if he's trying this or that product and actually he said that he receives a lot of products from different brands and he actually liked to switch them up and use different things and look up and try out different products. So there is some his cold favorites but a lot of things he just using and trying all over again and we as a makeup artist needs to find out what will work for us and not just what somebody using and that's what I kind of like a lot that he was not kind of like recommending one brand or another. He was just saying that this is what he currently using in this makeup class and maybe in the next one it will be different and actually there were a lot of people who were on another classes and they were saying that he was using different products on another classes and that's how we find out that he actually liked to switch them and try different products and different brands. So I kind of like that thing a lot. So another thing that I actually start doing this year, I start buying different products from different brands that I have never tried before in order to kind of switch things up and find out what works for me. And this is what I like that he was not trying to kind of like use one specific brand but he was constantly changing and using different products, different brands and I also like how he was saying that we should find our own products and just use our own techniques and find our own makeup looks so we'll be famous for that specific look, for that specific makeup application and that's what I'll be trying to do, find my own specific makeup look that everybody will know me for. And also another thing that I learned from Maria 
is that no matter what you need to truly believe in yourself, you need to continue working and work harder and try to make your dream come true. No matter what's happening in your life, even if it is a hard times and you're feeling like you cannot be succeeding and it's just like not working, just keep pushing yourself, keep trying, work harder and one day it will totally worth it because every single day is a new experience and you learn from it and there is sometimes, even if there is mistakes, I think the most important is that you learned your mistakes. So to sum everything up, I just want to answer questions that I receive a lot since I posted a picture on Instagram of me and Mario that I attended the masterclass in Toronto. So the first question that I got a lot is how much was the masterclass? So first of all, every masterclass has different pricing and also there is a different types of tickets available throughout the masterclass. So for the ones that I attended, there were VIP tickets, so you would get the first rows and also you will be the first one to be registered and also for the photo shoot and also lately after I already purchased my tickets they added some new which were the balcony tickets that didn't have a gift bag included with the ticket. So I do recommend to check out the website and see what tickets are available. And also Mario posted in his Instagram stories that one of the VIP ticket was available. So I do recommend to check out his page if you want to attend any of his masterclasses. So just, I will put all the information down here in my screen and also in the description down below. So just follow him on Instagram and also the masterclass page on Instagram. So in a bio, there is a link to the masterclass and it is actually themasterclass.com. So over there on their website, you will be able to see all upcoming masterclasses. And also if you click on a buy tickets, you will be able to see how much each ticket worth. So this is how I would answer that. And another question that I asked a lot is if it was worth it, if I learned a lot of new skills. So I will answer that sharing just my experience and what I think because everybody is different and everybody came for their own thing. So if you came there to do a picture with Mario in my situation, I don't think you will be that happy and you will not feel like it worth it. But I came there to learn and I have a full notebook of all the makeup tips and tricks that I learned from Mario and I do think it's totally worth it. I highly recommend it. I learned so much and it was just so amazing experience that I actually want to go back and attend more of his master classes because it was just that amazing. So I do highly recommend to attend Mario master classes. This is my opinion. You may have different one and Whatever I saw posted on Instagram with everyone's photos of Mario, everybody was happy and everybody was just saying and sharing their experiences and saying how tremendously thankful they are to attend it, how amazing master and genius Mario is and they were just so happy to be there. And actually I was also able to find a lot of amazing people through Instagram and their photos that they, they tag themselves and Mario and just use a hashtag the masterclass. And this is all about my recent experience of going to the masterclass by Mario in Toronto. And let me know in the comments down below if you also was able to attend this masterclass or any other masterclasses by Mario. Did you like it or not? And how are your thoughts on them? And also I'll be posting a video soon with everything that was included in a gift bag from the masterclass by Mario. So stay tuned for that video. And I just want to thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you a very beautiful day. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you and bye bye.